overall you're gonna grow as a person and improve your life. Welcome to my channel, my name is Kate Van Leuven and in today's video we're gonna be discussing journaling because I love journaling and I want to share that with all of you guys. So this is my current journal. This is a six ring binder journal and this is a journal trend that is from Korea, South Korea, and I wanted to try it for my second completed journal. So this journal is not completed yet. Here's the progress I've made on it. I have a full completed journal. I will grab that. Right now, this journal is held together with a little journal band that I found at Walmart in like a little set. Surprisingly, these are like kind of hard to find. I don't know why. Here's the journal. This is how thick it is. This is what the cover looks like. So this was just a normally bound journal and I believe these are both about an A6 size. This journal I found at Target and I'm kind of shocked that this was the journal I stuck with. I don't know, this was just such a random journal but yet this is what became my journal journal. Like I actually filled this up. Like I don't think I've ever fully filled up a journal in my life. Like to me that's like the hardest thing to do. Like that's impossible. It's been a second since I flipped through this but this is where where my journaling obsession started. Let's dive in to what journaling is. You can really make it whatever you want. A lot of times I just journal about my life. Sometimes I'll make special spreads. It varies what those spreads will be about. Like one spread I did was winter break and it was just like what I want to do things I have to do. I dedicated a whole spread to like something I went to, to like a program. I just like wanted to talk about that. This was a whole spread about how music affects me. I really like to have fun with the creative aspect of it and using washi tapes, different pens, stickers. Like I think this spread was a good example of that. But of course that is not necessary for journaling because journaling is really just about writing and the content, but you don't even have to make it about the writing you could also incorporate images to express how you're feeling it's just a way of expressing yourself onto paper and then you have a really cool documentation of that time in your life so this is really about a solid like three months i wasn't doing this like consistently until about october of 2019 and i completed the notebook in january i ended up getting so obsessed with this that i would do it about every day my goal is to do it every day I think it's very therapeutic and pretty important. I mean, I'm someone who does go to therapy, but you don't see your therapist every day. So this is just another version of therapy. And I think that most people don't realize that they need therapy, but it's helpful. And you don't have to think about it that way. When you're just writing and getting your thoughts down, you're just helping getting what's up here out. Just so important if you just constantly think like most of us. Something I like to do is add pictures. So here like there you can see there's some images and I think that this is a really nice touch to add. It makes it almost like a scrapbook. I mean not fully because it's still like mostly writing in here but like then you can look back on it and like just flipping through the pictures is really fun. That's where these are such great memory keepers even if there aren't pictures in it when you're looking back and say you reflected on your day you can read about what you did and you remember all these memories that you probably would have forgotten otherwise which that's a really cool result of journaling so journaling it's a great memory keeper in like documentation of your life and then also it's you know a personal therapist just all you need is pen and paper and you really don't need fancy journals or anything you just need pen paper and you can write about whatever you want to write. Let's talk about how to start because maybe you're starting to like the idea of a journal, but how do you start? So for me, I was never the person who could keep up with journaling. Being someone who could fill up a journal like this was just not, not gonna happen. You gotta find the right notebook. I didn't know that this was the one, but it was the one and it started this habit for me and it made me fall in love with it. So then the next journal I chose didn't matter as much because I was already in love with this idea. So like, I said this journal is from Target and it was cute but not cute enough where I didn't want to ruin it. You know when a journal is so pretty that you just don't want to mess it up. You feel like whatever is in it has to be beautiful. Well I didn't feel that with this notebook so I could kind of do whatever I wanted. So this journal it started out as just one of my random journals. 
videos. It started out with lists and then I tried a little entry. Well, more than a little entry, it went on a little long. But then I went back to just lists and stuff. But I filled it up a little more still than my other journals. And then I did another actual entry. In this one, I printed pictures from Walgreens and I got into it with everything. And I was documenting my life and so then I did it the next day too. And it was really fun. I collected like this is a business card. It wasn't consistent, but I then did it ever so often. Like I did it for my birthday and I got more into the stationery and the look of it. And I started to have a lot of fun with it. So that's where it kind of spiraled into these full entries of writing, writing about my day, writing about what I was thinking about, writing about things I wanted to do, things I wanted to buy, just random things, maybe talking about other people, just, I don't know, like this entry I just wrote about a dream, I just kept going and going and i fell in love with this hobby this habit and what kept me going i think part of it was the creativity and also just filling up the notebook it became so satisfying the way i finished this journal is because once i was nearing the end it just got me more and more excited to keep journaling because i wanted to get to the end of this book and have this satisfying fat notebook and so even when i kind of fallen out of it i keep going because i want to fill up the notebook and it's fun then we come on to this notebook and this journal i wanted to try out this journal trend i had been watching lots of journaling videos on youtube my favorite journal person is rainbowholic tv best youtube channel I'll link her down below. I've gotten pretty far in this journal. I've gotten pretty far in this journal now. You need to figure out what kind of journal is gonna work for you. This journal honestly isn't working the best for me, but I've already established the habit, so I'm already, you know, going. This one apparently was the journal for me. This is like an A6 size, so it was smaller. It's not too small, so I can still fill up pages, but for me, it needs to be kind of smaller so I can have that satisfaction of filling pages pages because with a bigger notebook it takes longer to fill just one page and that's not as satisfying for me so then I don't want to keep going because it just feels endless. So this size was crucial for me and I think that I like bound books. I don't know there's something about it. I think for perfectionists which I mean I am just in random ways. I don't know I'm all over the place. We're not going to talk about it. If you're a perfectionist when it comes to things like this like if you're obsessed with making your journal perfect I would get a binder one because you can take out pages easily and I don't know blah 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 it's for perfectionists I want my journal to kind of be a mess and kind of just to be stuck in there and just have fun with it how it is so definitely like figuring out what your journal is also this is a hardback think about hardback and paperback like this is something that's important to me with books too like i think formats of books do make a difference and so the same thing works with journaling you're going to cling to different types of journals so you need to figure out which one you're actually going to stick with and i really don't recommend getting journals that are so perfect and beautiful because you're not going to stick with them they're too perfect they're untouchable you're just not going to use it and also i like decorating my journals with stickers it makes it really fun and it makes it personal i was talking about how you don't need all this extra journal stuff but i'm still going to talk about it because this is something that keeps me going with journaling and makes it a lot of fun and makes it a hobby for me so i love stationery but before this i never really knew what to use it for so i like using washi tapes stickers different colored pens and such before i get fully into the stationery i do want to mention something about journaling i think is a cool thing for everyone beyond if you're into stationery or not but like collecting little pieces of your day so sometimes for me that's that's like packaging and like here's a coffee thing that i kept or it's the sticker from my bagel or receipts 
Sometimes I put them in like this. I don't have a hole puncher, so that sucks. Or it's tagged, or it's a ticket from the bus, or it's literally anything. These little mementos, I think it's really cool. It's really cool to look back on. I don't know, I just like it. Also, something cool about journaling is it's kind of a way to reuse items of packaging and receipts so you're not just throwing them away. It's a way of kind of collaging them and making them a cool thing. Journaling will change your life. You will find out so much more about yourself and you'll really work on and improve yourself because you're going to be noticing more thoughts and you're going to be writing things down on paper and seeing them and reflecting on them. This is reflecting. You're reflecting on life, you're reflecting on yourself, and overall you're going to grow as a person and improve your life. One day you're going to have these and you're going to look back and you're going to be like, oh my god, that's what exactly what I was thinking on this day of the week last year or five years ago or ten years ago or twenty years ago I thought this and then also when you're looking back on these it's another form of reflection you're reflecting on your past self and you can see your past self like isn't that so cool I don't know journaling is the coolest thing and it's the best hobby to have and I 100% recommend I hope you enjoyed my rant about journals because I love journals and I love journaling now and now I have a proper use for my journals and I actually will use them and fill them up if you want a video about my other journals just comment that down below because I have other types of journals too like these are my average everyday daily journaling things these this is a whole nother world but if you want me to get into those just comment that down below we'll get into that in a different video hopefully you got something out of watching this video go start a journal journaling is pretty cool you should do that thank you for watching this video subscribe down below because it's free and why not and i will see you in my next video